Hello everyone and welcome back to the Quake Pro League as we're into our next match which will be Venga versus Cypher. It's going to be an incredible match to say the least and especially with Cypher, you know, he's playing against someone who's won every single match in their stage four so far, beating the likes of, I think it was Kilsen, Base, Cooler and CNZ already. Venga's yeah. been really, really on the warpath so far. I mean, absolutely, the man is on an utter and complete tear. He also has his two best LAN results ever in the past two LANs, finishing fifth and fourth place, respectively, in the Stage 2 and 3 finals. So that is clearly him making his way on up through the leaderboards and cementing himself as one of EU's top competitors. And I really do think that this is probably the highlight of really points close on the leaderboards you have Wenger so far hasn't dropped a single match yet in stage four going up against Cypher who I mean it's Cypher we're seeing a complete resurgence from the man we definitely have indeed you know focus on Cypher a little bit it's funny how much he's changed since the first couple stages where he was on and off form we didn't know what he was gonna you know what we expected from him or what he was gonna do to the later stages of stage three where all of a sudden ever since he made these cursor changes he made these uh, different movements his rotations there's a lot of things he's been working on especially with his sensitivities cursor and the paths he takes to certain routes on the map which is just made him be a remarkable player than what he is at the moment but for Wenger like you know he's still got to be careful even though he's on a bit of a hot streak right now so remember this is Cypher you know this is one of the you know greatest players in the region and one of the best players in the world is too and it's going to be a uh, not a tall order but it's going to be one of the closest matches we'll have this evening especially at this level I mean, taking a quick look at their recent match history, it was Cypher who won last time they faced off against each other in Stage 3, and Wenger won back in Stage 2. So it's a bit of a back and forth between these two players, and this is a very, very difficult one to call, I believe. Both of these players, they've got their unique style. The one thing that is common to the both of them are their incredible rockets, both known for that weapon in particular. But then, of course, Wenger. He's the man, the master of the flicks, right? The super aggressive, flary plays, just rushing into the room, landing every single shot with the railgun, whereas Cypher is known for being one of the players who really thinks out of the box. He can just find a way and a solution to almost any scenario. I kind of feel like Wenger is very similar to Nosfer, but Wenger has the extra elements to be that top high caliber player. So, you know, there's some things he does, like he's more unorthodox. He chooses his engagements wisely, but at the same time, he's extremely aggressive, always makes sure his aim's absolutely on point, and his item control and rotation is just remarkable. And we've seen him on so many occasions in the past where he was so close to taking certain series, but it's always by one frag, two frag, or if it's a best of three, it's two one. It's been so so close and it can hit you like a ton of bricks sometimes after all these defeats being so so close but finally he's getting the results he's so desperately required and desired at the same time so what probably a good question to ask you flea is have you noticed anything between like towards the end of stage three and stage four like what kind of changes he could have made but then again it's not just one particular change it could be multiple changes he's made in order to be from like that tier one caliber to maybe like the higher end of tier one yeah i don't think there's really anything in particular that we can point to i think it's just a return to his old form you know he was one of the absolute best in the days of quake live but when it came to quake champions time limits duel is really much more of his strength right as opposed to the dual based game mode that we had at the start so that really allowed him to get back into the groove and as just the meta kind of settled in because at the start there was a lot of changes very often with the updates with certain champions getting buffs others getting nerfs now we've really settled into a very nicely balanced lineup and i think that that is something that really helps Cypher just to reach that level of consistency that he was known for in the past. Yeah, in terms of the balance with the champions anyway, I think right now it is very well balanced. I don't think there's not really any changes in like required at this moment in time. Everyone seems quite happy and stable with what everything's going on. You know, everyone's got their favorites, of course. But it'll be weird to see exactly what will happen going into this matchup in terms of the champion picks later on. As we do, speaking of the Devil Flea, we do have the picks and bans. Benga straight away getting rid of blood run which i'm not really too surprised there so if i get rid of veil we know Venga has a uh, pristine past with dominating a lot of players on veil in previous matchups so it looks like we'll be going to awoken first and with uh for Venga's pick corrupted keep will be second 
the Cypher, and it looks like the final one will be Blood Covenant. We've seen a lot of uh, final maps being Blood Covenant or Molten Falls recently. Yeah, absolutely. It's a common third pick, it seems like. Um, champion pick is nothing too extraordinary there. I think the Corrupted Key pick from Anarchy is probably the most interesting thing right there. Cypher is going with the Strog, a very common pick on Corrupted Keep, of course, because there's no Railgun. And as we all know, the Rail is the primary way of dealing with that little Pika robot that comes out. So uh, that can really help the effectiveness of the robot. First one will be Awoken. We've got Galena versus Ranger, pretty standard mobility versus the deployable totems. And then the last one is going to be a pretty fast map by the looks of it. We've got Slash versus Nyx, two light champion, lots of mobility, each of them. I think the last time, or one of the last times I actually saw Cypher even play Corrupted Keep was against Razy, and we call it Razy's Keep because normally Razy, nine times out of ten, wins on that map. But Cypher was the one who actually took him down 11 to 5, I believe, uh, a couple of weeks ago against Razy. So he seems to be very, very confident on that map. You know, of course, with Blood Run not being part of the three, it's a bit of a shame for him. But, you know, he does seem very, very strong on Corrupted Keep. And if he falls behind in any way, shape or form, and he has that stack advantage, he can come in with the saw lag anyway. So it looks yeah. like a lot of these picks, not just the champion picks, but more the maps, seem to be OK. So it's been quite balanced from what we've seen in previous matchups. Absolutely. And Chad, as we are about to get into this spectacular matchup, don't forget to first go ahead and share the hashtag Quake Pro League. This is a tremendous game, one for the history books, no doubt. And second, please make some noise. Let me know who is your favorite player. Who do you want to win? Let me see some Cypher, Cypher, Cyphers in chat. Let me see some Wenger spam as well. Make some noise for your favorite as we are jumping into the first map of this series, which will be Awoken. When you said Cypher's name three times, I thought you were trying to be biased there, sneakily. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go into map number one there, which will be, of course, on Awoken. And we'll see what these two Titans can do here, as it's a very important matchup for the standings too later on, as we will be focusing on Venga to start off with. And it looks like both of them are playing quite passive for now. Slow start, to be sure. Cypher, staying in control of that center area of the map. Trying to shoot some rockets down at his opponents. Fangur, with the better stack already. That was pretty quick. Pretty big delay between the two items as well. Cypher secures Mega, but Fangur has got the better positioning. Yeah, Venga does have atomic control, but Cypher got slightly off guard there when he went for that light. I don't think he knew that Venga was still standing around there. He knew there was a possibility, but probably a small one as that rail comes through. So he's back on 100 HP, making sure he's not available. But also gets that heavy too, but he's already been taking so much damage here. Venga's just trying to stay alive as much as he can, but Cypher's picked up the Mega. He's going to be going off the map. Oh. See you later, Venga as Cypher gets that first frag on the board. I mean, there's two maps where there's a serious risk of getting ring out it. It's Awoken and it's Molten, so you have to watch those ledges and of course going up a bounce pad and getting that speed boost from someone hitting you with that lightning gun can easily knock you off. That is going to help Cypher get himself an early lead and get a good rotation going as well. 10 seconds between the two major items. This is going to work nicely in his favor. Vengur, he's got the base tag, but he's still missing some of the weapons, I think. Now Cypher. Now. Waiting for the heavy, yeah. So apologies about that. Yeah, Cypher is still... Keep his guard up for the time being as the world has come through. Managed to get one in the end. He's going to try and look for that second, but won't be given the opportunity as Vengur does go through the portal and flank round. But so far, Flea, Cypher's been doing a really good job of keeping that mega control, keeping the art of control left, right and centre, but also trying to stabilise on top mid, burning these light armors. And doing an excellent job at denying them to Venger as well. This is the second small armor he's denied in the last 20 seconds or so, just making sure that his opponent won't be able to pick it up as he knows that he can just keep on cycling heavy and mega and that's all he needs. Fenger is proving to be a little slippery though. Cypher after that first frag, unable to really lock his opponent down and Fenger actually doing a sizable amount of damage, more damage than Cypher actually. 
Cypher has to be careful. Both DLGs come through, but the rail came through for Benga. It's only on 39 HP now. Was on 14 momentarily. But Cypher almost back to his default stack. Tried to get the rail off on Benga. Predicted him to be on the Mega. Nice rocket jump to avoid the rail. Knowing that Cypher would be predictable and actually try and go for that rail. Going for that Mega afterwards. Sees exactly where he is. Gets the first one on the board. Still a little extra better. damage of the totem there. Always useful. Cypher has to be careful though. He's gonna use the orb just to make sure he doesn't give away any angles right there as he's setting up for heavy. We'll be able to secure it too. Now Wenger is the one who has to get out quickly because he's in such a bad spot. Cypher is pushing this dangerously on the bounce pad, making himself an easy target Ooh. for LG or Rockets as Wenger ties it right back up one to one. Gets a mega for his troubles as well. This is looking like a good start of a comeback for the Italian. You're definitely not wrong there, Flea. That was a disgusting rocket from what we saw earlier and manages to tie things up. Cypher with a slightly bigger stack, but don't worry, Wenger's going to change all that by waiting for that heavy. Has gone up inkling of where he could be, but those dry bolt shots did so much damage there. Top mid, Cypher, as you can see, was just creeping around top mid, hoping he, hoping Wenger would eventually walk into one of his rockets, but it's not to be and not going to be the case as Wenger now waiting patiently to see exactly where Cypher is going to go. But very back and forth is did both LGs do? Decided to come out to play. Cypher's deciding whether he's going to try and jump forward into the battle, but he's not going to force that engagement. I like the rocket jump from Finger to get out alive right there. Should be able to survive at least one more rail. Not anymore. Not after that rocket. You won't. And Cypher, nice little combo kill to put himself back into the lead. Now, the saving grace for Wenger here is that this was at a pretty opportune time, the death. No major items spawning immediately afterwards, so Cypher cannot use this to just steamroll his opponent with an excellent stack. It's actually Wenger setting up in the middle of the map right now. Heavy will spawn in just a few seconds, and I think Wenger, he wants to get himself a rail and some information. Those are his main goals right now. If he can do some damage here, that would be swell, but he is not just ready for a confrontation just yet. Not as of yet, Cypher is definitely trying to pincer Wenger down, but sadly for him, he can't pincer down the Italian Stallion as Wenger now still one frag behind, but got plenty of time to try and make something happen here with four minutes left on the clock. Hasn't really got too much of a stack advantage here for Cypher, but Cypher's going to choose anyway and just go straight into battle. The first rail comes through. And the orb does come in. He was hoping to maybe cross paths for him, with him once more on the rocket spawn. But now the chase does come in. Surely this is Wenger going to get taken down. Yes, it is, as Cypher extends his lead. And what's Wenger going to do now? Cypher's LG, uncharacteristically low, was at 28% just moments ago. Of course, he's been spamming it a fair bit too, but still, Lightning Gun is something that we have seen Cypher do tremendous things with over the past few weeks. And Wenger managed to get himself the last frag. Both major items to his name. And that totem, that's information. Knows exactly where Cypher is. 40 damage. Probably not going to be a game changer, but it at least tells you exactly where your opponent was just a moment ago. Ooh. Oh, Cypher, super aggressive play <gasps> through the hole. But the rockets aren't quite there yet either whereas Wenger, as we all know excellent rockets this man possesses and he lives up to the hype as well i was slightly worried at first but it doesn't matter now as Wenger does manage to tie things up here flea still got a bit of time left on the clock for both of these players cyphers at a little bit of an advantage just like to push on through but suddenly fell off at the worst time possible but both are on a almost a similar stack at least finger does have a totem for now he's already got one up already decides to put it down at 40 hp he needs to seriously back away at this point but he's now gonna be trapped in the lg area as cypher full well knows we're gonna try and put him down if you can won't be able to but at least finger gets that light armor to stabilize his stack a little bit more 
Now Wenger definitely doesn't want to be the one to give up the next frag. He knows that if he has to chase his opponent, who is of course playing Ranger, can do rocket jumps for days, has got the orb to get out of any sticky situation, that is not the situation he wants to be in. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Cypher, of course, even if he were to drop a frag, he's got much better mobility to try and catch his opponent afterwards. But it is Wenger who cannot afford to lose anything right now, or he will be in an incredibly difficult position for the next few minutes. Both players already treating this as if it were overtime. Might as well be with a minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. Careful, calm, disciplined games right now. I'm surprised how defensive and passive this game has been, but I'm not surprised that it's so close. As you can see, Cypher's trying to catch him off guard here, but managed to get the mega in mid fight in the process. No players are just backing off for the time being as Benga tries to restack and hopefully regain some kind of control here. As he's going to push it alongside for that mega. The heavy will be coming up very shortly. And even though Benga hasn't got the height advantage, maybe Cypher can get some rockets down, as he has done with that totem. It's going to help out a little bit. Heavy is still up, and it looks like Cypher for now has realised that Venka, Venka has done a nice little disappearing act. Both players will get both items for now, and you are definitely right though, here, Flea. Like they're definitely treating the final moments of this like it's sudden death already. So we're just going to take this next frag. We'll probably take the W as well. Just trying to hide away and see what Cypher could be doing next. But it looks like Venka's just going to hold his ground for the time being. Fenger doesn't have any rockets to play with either. Definitely wants to get a hell of some of those before he does anything else. There we go, he will collect a few. Cypher orbing through the totem right there, avoids taking damage. LG, decent enough. It's gonna help push his opponent away. And now it really is about to be sudden death. The next frag will win map one. Both players hyper aware of this. Looking to adjust their playstyle accordingly. Heavy first item to spawn. Rockets from Wenger. That was a nice and juicy one. Has to get across the map. Is he going to go for Mega? No, he holds himself back just in time. Doesn't want to push his luck. And instead contents himself landing. A nice little rail right there. I feel like he was a little bit worried that he'll get LG'd in the process if he went for the Mega and then Cypher will grab it from him straight away, which is understandable. It's a possibility. We've seen it happen before. But Venga does have a high advantage, but hasn't got the health to back it up. But it's literally moments away from being Oof. taken down, and he does as Cypher. What a way to end things. We did not expect that last rail, but the orb was definitely a possibility. But look at the item control 29 items from the Mega and Heavy. Even then, Venga had some good rails, but it just wasn't enough as Siphon, very close, but surely takes map number one. Yeah, things aren't looking that good for Venga. Of course, Awoken is one of his best maps. He's widely regarded to be one of the best Awoken players in the world. So to lose that one to Cypher right off the bat, that is not the position that he wants to find himself in. Still, though, two more maps to go. So absolutely strong possibility for him to still edge this one out and get himself the win. But congratulations to Cypher. As we were discussing that little rush at the end, the aggression first, the damage on top. Venger drops himself down below. And Cypher, of course, he he has the orb at the ready. He can use that little hole, gets right on through, right in Wenger's face, and just finishes him off extremely quickly. So a very sudden burst of aggression right there. And there we get to see that ring out at the beginning again. <laughs> Poor Wenger, <laughs> you hate to see it, but you know, it's also great on the other hand. Yeah, flying away is your first frag. You know, it's not the you know not the best thing in the world for Wenger, but hopefully he treated it as a joke and cracked on and moved on, which he did do. Though he did a phenomenal job. It's a cipher. You know, you saw at the end everything was just came into place. He had the orb ready and waited for him to use. There's the active ability, mass of the realm, which he had to literally hit to even follow up with the rest of the uh, shots found to take him down. But that's the first map all said and done. That's all done and dusted. We're going to Corrupted Keep now, which will be the second map. And Cypher, the last time he played this, he beat Razy 11-5 a couple weeks ago. So I feel like Cypher, I'm not sure if he's just because of that matchup alone or maybe just in general, but he feels like he's got something to prove or maybe he's one of his better maps now, not just Blood Run or a couple of the others. This is definitely a matchup for him which suits his style of play. 
Absolutely. I am indeed very concerned for Wenger. I do like his champion pick, though. Strong on Corrupted Keep is such a powerhouse of a pick. Not only do you have the movement ability, but the peeker is unrivaled. So much more useful than on any other map in the lineup because exactly there is no railgun. Nothing that can just instantly take it down. Of course, you do have the shotgun, but you need to be in extremely close range, and you've got rockets, but that's extremely difficult to hit on a peeker who's dodging around the room. So, uh, Wenger, I'm expecting to see some really good peaker plays this time around. I'm sure we will indeed. I think we'll be a little bit upset if we don't. But I think the only problem we need to worry about with which one of these two players is the fact that which one is going to be stabilizing through the halfway two-thirds mark of Corrupted Keep and then be able to keep that control. It's very hard to kind of you know overextend when you haven't got the best weapons in your arsenal to try and maybe clean up a frag which you could have had in the previous frag in the previous matchup or the previous fights you've had because we've seen it quite a lot but a lot of players keep trying to trade 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 afterwards on spawn just to try to clean things up and then get the item control afterwards i think we saw it earlier in the matchup where both i think it was genic and Sagib at the time had a very close matchup and they weren't really yeah. trading as much they neither of them really stabilized it. It was just a mix of chaos and passive plays at the same time. <laughs> you couldn't really tell what both of these players were going to do. But this one, yeah. I assume, is going to be extremely aggressive. There's going to be no holding back for either one of these players. And we know what Wenger is capable of, not only Cypher on this map. Absolutely. This is going to be an interesting one. And of course, if Cypher takes home this map win as well, he will be the first player in stage four to actually be Wenger. So of course, that is something that he no doubt wants to achieve as we are hopping into things. Cypher and Wenger both delaying their respective items tremendously so. And they end up picking it up at the exact <laughs> same time once again love to see it both putting so much effort and thought into delaying the item only for the opponent to mirror their moves exactly now what this means is that it's very unlikely that either player will be able to secure an immediately strong rotation by getting a good frag well as the saying goes flea great minds think alike and they've been doing the exact same thing just on the opposite ends of the map it's a decent amount of lg shots there come through from venga i think he I think Cypher assumed that maybe the LG would be a little bit out of range for him to pull back on, but that wasn't the case. And Wenger is just definitely after blood. He's done so much damage here. Takes Cypher down. First frag on the board for Wenger. Yeah, Cypher extremely aggressive push with the rockets right there. Wenger's LG is good. 46% at the time. But of course, when your opponent gets that close to you, there's so little you can do. And as you predicted, Harry, this is already starting as quite the brawl. Wenger now extending his lead. And I'm sure that there's many more frags to follow shortly. I'll be gobsmacked if it isn't, especially on a map like this, rare or not. That's Wenger now. Looking for the possibility to extend this lead. Does he have the stack to back it up? The picker comes through. Not going to do too much here. Doesn't need the info, but didn't really do much damage either. So I wouldn't say it's a little bit of a waste, but it's just trying to throw Cypher off guard there. There's Benga. The LG is beautiful from him, but at the same time, both of them have a very similar stack. Saying that now, Benga does get the heavy to make matters slightly worse for Cypher. But then again, Cypher does... Pick up the mega as he's going to burn for light for the time being. I think a slight miss time on the heavy from Cypher right there. He just wanted to do zip on through and pick it up, but he left the room a second too soon before the item spawned. So ended up handing it to Wenger. That could have been a beautiful play, but uh, still, players more or less tied in stack after that previous engagement. Now Cypher is the one who will secure heavy. Get himself a lead. Wenger will take away the Mega instead. And we're going to get another LG on LG fight. Rockets coming out from Cypher. Both players really low right now. No Railgun in play though, as we all know on this map. So it makes for a lot easier escapes. Peeker won't quite get it. And we're seeing a much faster stabilization on Corrupted Keep than I would have thought, Lethal. Yeah, I'm quite surprised actually. But then... You know, speak of the devil, we save that, yeah. and now Cyber comes back with a frag. So <laughs> it was almost stabilized. Well, no, it was stabilized. He was in a great spot, but the only problem was Wenger had that height disadvantage and was just hoping he could pick up the heavy before Cypher. But Cypher was like, absolutely not. I am not going to back away from this opportunity to try and at least get the first frag on the board. 
which he has done, and Cypher's looking quite good at the moment. Even though the stack isn't the best, he can definitely get the LG out, and he's got the Inject to back himself up, which he already uses. Will he be able to take him down? Yes, he does, and gets the Heavy now. So this is good control, but he needs to try and heal up as fast as he can before Venga has anything to say about it here, Flea. And after that, that early start from Venger, neither player really consistently getting both major items and setting up that kind of a strong, solid rotation. Still a bit of a back and forth. Very little time between the items this time around, so it's going to make it extremely difficult for one of them to get both. Cypher, though, he's definitely going to try, but messes up the movement, fumbles getting through the doorway. That's going to slow him down a fair bit. And that means that Venger gets away with Mega. Good heavy machine gun, though. This could definitely lead to a frag. Venger, brother, decides he doesn't want to stick around. Perhaps want to set up for the heavy already. Still. Backing him away with the rockets just to show map presence to make sure he backs away fully. Heavy will be picked up, though, and Cypher will be going for the Mega for himself as he's just trying to back away for the time being. Just trying to be extra careful here, which is understandable considering his stack and Benga's just so desperate to try and push in. He definitely wants a piece of the action, but it's not really happening at the moment. But the inject comes in early, understandable, just in case it's a bit of a mishap. But Cypher only on 43 HPs. Gonna go for the heavy and Benga will be going for the mega. It's amazing how low the scoreline is. Both players have done close to 2,000 damage each, and it's still just 2 to foo when it comes to the frag. So uh, a lot of engagements near constant action, but a lot of restraint on both of these <gasps> players. And Wenger somehow turns it around! He only had around 20 points of health right there. As he got the finish, then picked up the hell file that Cypher dropped. That seemed like it would have gone to the Belarusian player from Navi almost instantly. And now he can't get through the door. Fumbles the movement as Cypher ties it right back up. Oh, Flea, that was ridiculous. A few amazing predictive rockets and then a direct rocket straight to the dome just to clean things up and get the frag. And then hitting the archway to go for Mega. He definitely would have survived then. Just barely. And he only had to take three or four shots, but because of how much he was slowed down, he had no choice, got taken down and then tied things up here. It's Cypher now. Waits for the heavy, manages to pick him up now. So it's a tied game still. Four minutes left remaining. We'll be getting the Mega very shortly. Tries to delay it a little bit without Venga knowing, but I'm pretty sure he heard that audio cue. But Cypher's pretty much laughing at this point, but just needs to be careful with the rockets of Venga if Cypher does push in slowly but surely. Forcing out a bit of movement, a bit of noise to see if Venger will react to it. But so far he hasn't. But as I said that, he's been walking out a little bit to see exactly what Cypher is up to. But very close. And you are right, Flea. You are absolutely on the nose with that one, with the fact that it's been a very slow-paced, low-frag game. Especially between these two on Corrupted Keep. Yeah. Indeed, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Wenger hyper aware that if he loses this map, he lost his first total match in stage four, and he wants to avoid that at all costs, of course. So I think that is part of why he is showing so much restraint. He is so often the first one to leave the room when he's not entirely confident in his ability to win it. He just disappears and tries again next time. Mega's about to spawn, but it's still two seconds and Cypher was already there. Now Wenger, he's in a bad spot, needs to find himself any small resources he can. Now, of course, Cypher probably has a pretty decent idea of where his opponent is going for, because there's not that many small armors on this map, so... Yes, yeah, very difficult to say the least here. What... Benga wants to do Cypher burning all these light armors and also going to the roots which Benga could possibly be taking. But hasn't really found him as of yet. But as you can see, Venga gets the Mega finally after a little bit of time. He's looking to get away for now. Cypher hears the jump pad, knows exactly where he could be. But it's going to realize shortly that he's actually on that heavy side. And I'm not too sure if Venga wants to try and contest it. Maybe he just wants to see the timing of it and Watch when Cyber actually picks it up, I'm not too sure. But both players come out with the HMG if a little bit of damage has been done, but nothing too serious. But as I say, that a chunk, big chunk of damage 
on Cypher, hampered by Venga, as you can see from then. Venga is going to go for the Mega, Cypher back on the light, and we're back to square one again like we were 30 seconds ago. The things were basically tied in the first five minutes of the map, but if you now look at damage dealt and items picked up, you can clearly see Venger is prioritizing the items, whereas it's Cypher who has been doing quite a bit of the damage. So not exactly what you might be expecting in this situation, but it quite clearly shows both players extremely disciplined. No one wants to give up the next frag this close to the end of the map, and they are both adjusting their playstyles accordingly too. At some stage, an engagement will be forced here, Flea, and I feel like once one of these players get both the items or someone makes a wrong move, it could be all said and done here. Funny things though, are we going to jinx the fact that it could be sudden death? We're not too sure yet, as both players have packed off for the time being, but now Cyber has the heavy, also has the time to get the Mega, but the LG's come through! And Venga knows that the Mega is going to come up shortly, but he's going to know exactly now. He's trying to get a direct rocket or hopefully a rocket with a decent amount of damage. But it doesn't matter as Cypher has managed to restack once again. It's got the Inject and it's after blood. Still though, that 70 damage rocket right there who's going to help out a lot. But Cypher gets a perfect read, forces his way through the door. 12 points of health, Venger! Cypher is knocking <gasps> on the door right now. The rocket through the grate! is going to send him spiraling out of control as Cypher with 15 seconds left to go will get himself another frag can he make it too or is this going to be all she wrote Wenger knows no more opportunity to catch up with his opponent and that will mean that Cypher comes out on top two map wins already so Wenger knows the first player to beat him this time around in stage four will have been Cypher the timing of that direct rocket was absolutely disgusting yeah. from bottom mid to the top of the heavy portal. That was just ridiculous. I think Wenger kind of had a, an inkling or possibility knowing that there will be some damage hit towards him across the board when he goes through, but I don't think he expected a direct rocket. And yeah, then again, no. Cypher knew that he was at the stack where if he hits it, then that's the map all said and done. Yeah, of course. I mean, Wenger, <laughs> he didn't have much health to his name at all, but... He picked up heavy, but unfortunately, as things go within Quake, armor doesn't protect you fully, but rather it absorbs a portion of the damage that would otherwise go towards your health. So even with the heavy armor, that rocket still proved to be fatal. We can see it right there. What a beauty! That wasn't even on the grading itself lethal. 99% of the time when you see a rocket do damage there is because they hit the bottom of the grate and the explosion just flowers on through it. Yeah. But this time it went straight through, treading the needle to <laughs> Wenger's face. What a beautiful rocket for Cypher to win that map. That was just absolute filth, wasn't it? It was ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's the same as what I said earlier. Yeah, it's like, you know, normally when you fire one of these rockets, normally it takes a little bit of damage, not normally a huge chunk, but the fact that you got it yeah. direct onto him to... Not only make matters worse to add salt to the wound, it's the fact that he did it direct in front of him. Wenger must have just face palmed and gone, oh, it's the same thing again, but with the first map, <laughs> really. But both of the matchups we've had in both maps, it's funny because of the fact that Cypher has done it in style both times. The direct rocket from bottom mid, which is a little bit risky, but the risk paid off, of course. And then we saw it on the first map where he got the rail and then the orb in and then managed to clean up afterwards. It's just phenomenal stuff. And Wenger, it's a sad day for him because it's the first series he's going to lose in terms of the entire course of stage four. But I'm not surprised that Cypher's the one to actually do it. But it's not all too late. Yeah, we're still going to map number three to see if Wenger can at least get a map on the board to try and get some points back. Absolutely. Now, Wenger, of course, he is far and wide above being at risk of being relegated in stage four. But still, you know, they were so close to each other. Wenger, Razy and Cypher all within just 15 points of one another. Wenger, he doesn't want to be the one dropping below the rest of the bunch. He wants to be on top, make it all the way into top three global. So he clearly still wants to get the final points out of this last map that we're going to see, which is, of course, Blood Covenant. Might be a very fast one, too, since we've got two light champions duking it out. We do indeed with the Slash and the Nyx. We'll have to see exactly what both these players are going to be up to on Blood Covenant. It's the final map of the day, and we're going to, sorry, not of the day, of the match. And we're going to see if Fenger in any way can at least get one map back in this series, or if Cypher will close things out 3 to 0 and get a nice, huge chunk of points added to his tally. As we can see here, we're going to start off with Cypher. 
and see what he's going to be up to. He's already got the rockets, the LG, and oh. the rail. So he's got all the weapons in his arsenal he could ever dream of. It's just a matter of how he's going to make it work. Benga still backing away for the time being. Hasn't really got the stack or the armor to try and make something happen, but surely Cypher's going to be closing this out. And yes, he does. That was a nice way to hit that second rail. Gets a lot of damage from the nail. Sadly misses the other rail after the nail damage, but that was phenomenal stuff. I love how he just waited for it. He knew that Wenger couldn't <laughs> see him looking straight down. He was like, let me just take my time, switch to rail, and there we go. He was just chilled, wasn't that... he? Just complacent Absolutely. and chilled. He just didn't care. He was like, You're... the frag's going to come to me. It's just a matter of a few seconds. Now, something for Cypher to, of course, keep in mind on this map is that he will have to force himself to use his ability every so often. Slash is a champion who does not depend on her ability much. She's a top tier pick without ever having to use the plasma trail. That has some upsides, sure, but it also has a few downsides. Because if you're not using your ability, you're not picking up any hourglasses and you're leaving all of them to your opponents. And when you're up against Nyx, a champion who is very heavily dependent on being able to use that ghost walk a lot, you want to be able to use it. So he wants to deny his opponent as often as possible. And those were some classy rails right there. Wenger, one, two, three, dropping down Cypher and tying things right back up. That's fantastic work indeed. I think he jumped a little bit too early on that jump pad. And looks like Venga for now. We'll be waiting for the heavy. Gonna delay it by a couple of seconds to try and throw Cypher off just that tiny bit. Venga is looking very good in terms of his stack. He's gonna try and put off Cypher if, if he can. That's only a small amount of damage with the rockets, but the LG is beautiful from Venga. As for now. You can still hear the whereabouts of Cypher, depending on where he wants to go, but the rockets from Cypher just keeping Venga at bay, making sure there's no aggression coming forward here, Flea. Yeah, and also, of course, the railgun helping him out a fair bit. Cypher, rather, Venga trying to mount a comeback with that weapon as a big focus of it, hitting twice as many rails as Cypher already. And of course, on a larger map like Blood Covenant, that is going to help you out tremendously. And the moment I say it, Cypher, as if he heard me, just ramps things up and pulls out the best rail imaginable too. Oh, a beautiful rocket there and another rail to boot. That's a nice little follow-up, but Venga still hasn't got the stack. He may come close quarters with Cypher, which he will do. The MG comes out to play. Cypher still waiting for the engagement. Waiting for him to go through. Finally pushes in. And Cypher gets the lead up 2-1, to one, adding another frag to his tally. Still at a decent stack too here, Flea, as he's going to try and push in for one more. Only done a small chunk of damage. I think it was only 18 or 19. And he's going to see if he can flank round and try and catch him off guard on another route. It's a very interesting split in the items so far. Wenger has picked up almost every single Mega, whereas Cypher has picked up almost every single Heavy. So a very clear divide. Both players favoring one item. The LG could have been a little bit better. It looks like Wenger will be able to secure the Mega. And yeah, that is a bad spot to be in when you're Cypher. If you could have landed that rail, it would have been a brilliant play. Would have gotten the Mega as a reward right afterwards. But if you miss... You've got next to no HP to your name, and you're in a bad spot against an angry Wenger who just picked up a major item. So, Wenger tying things right back up, 2-2-2. Two two. Not far from wrong, Flea. Absolutely correct. Wenger, in this moment in time, though, still got a very good healthy stack. Making matters worse for Cypher. But Cypher is very good at the predictability of his opponent, and... Just clear individual instincts and game sense on where he could be. As you can see, they're always avoiding the usual traps on where he could be. But that was a beautiful first rail from Venga. He's going to try and look for the second. Cypher's like, absolutely not. I'm having none of that at all. Wanted to try and contest the heavy, but he couldn't. And look at him go. No. And still Venga managed to clean up. That's the youthful reaction time on those rails. The flicks, the precision, the reflexes. You can tell Venga forever 19 in our hearts. The man clearly knows how to handle that weapon as Cypher actually commits suicide on accident right there, taking a rail to the face and his own rocket finishes it up. Now Wenger looking really good, finally setting up a nice rotation rocket jump to get his way over to Mega first. Oh, that's not good. The drop down taking two rails for his trouble has to pop the Ghost Hawk to get up there safely. 
was a little bit risky considering Cypher could have gone up the jump pad as well and get the Mega before him during that Ghost Walk phase, but it doesn't matter. It was definitely the right choice. As now Venga's just trying to hold on to his lead here. I wouldn't even say hold on at this point. He's really kept Cypher on his toes throughout the whole process. But now Cypher's finally got the, not the lead, but the stack advantage back in Cypher predicting that rocket. That was a good prediction from him. First rail comes through. Well, the second come through from Cypher. As the second one comes through from Venga anyway. And both of them on just almost equal stack. Venga is just having absolutely none of it. Decides to back away for now. Just, just, it just gets caught off a little bit on the archway. But as long as he stays alive a little bit more, we'll be able to get the heavy. It comes up in the next couple of seconds. But will you be able to take down Cypher beforehand? Yes, he will. And Flea, he extends his lead again. Yeah, I feel like we're seeing a few misplays out of Cypher, and that's not something I usually say. This is the second time already that Cypher dropped the frag by putting himself in position with nothing but the railgun at close range or relatively close range, and then he misses the shots and Wenger just punishes it so badly. Second frag that Cypher has lost this way, and he's got to be careful. If he wants to still have a shot at winning this one, he cannot afford these kinds of mistakes. 3 series, so 3 0 series scoreline oh. would be massive. These rails are coming through. Venga's just not having a day off at this point. He's clearly not happy about the first two maps and wants to make something happen in this third map. Trying to keep that lead. Venga comes through, but he bounces away from the LG, the bounce pad, and the rail comes again. Nicely played once more from Venga. Bit of a, a questionable push up the jump pad Agreed. by Cypher right there, just knowing that Fenger is up there, knowing that he almost definitely has LG. I mean, he knew that Fenger had LG at that point. And it sounds as if Cypher did a good amount of damage to soften up his opponent first. He just went for it. And Fenger was so ready for that engagement as well. Six to one. Cypher still has a shot. But it ain't the big one. And he's got to start stepping things up right now. He certainly does indeed, but not with the stack he's on at the moment. Venga's pretty much laughing with the amount of HP and armor he's got to back him up in case he does have to take a pull at engagement. 2 minute 20 with needing 5 frags. It's doable on this map, but we have to really show something special here as Venga is on the back foot. Cypher predicted him to drop back down underneath, which he had done, but not as deep as he expected. Spenger now has got some slight high ground, looking to maybe try and get some light arm if he can. Does have the ghost walk if he's in deep trouble. And Shorty's going to try and back away. Yes, he does. So he decides to ghost walk. Cypher's trying to chase him down. Will not go the right way. Almost did. But you can remember with the Knicks, it's the hourglasses are so, so important, which is why you see these players go after them time and time again after the ghost walk has been initiated. Mega, next mage right in spawn, Wenger in no place to contest, doesn't even want to go for it, he knows he's got a huge lead, the only way he's gonna drop this map is by making some tremendous mistakes, so instead he switches back to a more passive playstyle, here's his opponent just zipping right above him, good rocket, that basically ties the stack right back up and allows Wenger to secure heavy as well, crucial bit of damage right there, to stop Cypher from mounting any sort of a comeback. ELG is looking juicy as well. Wenger doesn't even bother trying to chase that down. He knows the cats in the back should at least mean one map for him still. And let's talk about Wenger's rotations and movement as well. Every time he uses a ghost walk, not only does he try and get away, but he goes to the nearest set of hourglasses. So he'll go for the ones near rail if he's like having an engagement near the light armor around that area. Or if he's near, for example, in the mega room, then he can just drop down and get the three hourglasses there. He always makes sure that he has the opportunity to have the ghost walk in every kind of situation. But Cypher will be flying in to try and clean him up with the rockets. Not going to happen. You know, respect for trying anyway, but 20 seconds yeah. left remaining. Venga will most probably take this one. That's the GG. There's no way around that. Still, Cypher played the first two maps so brilliantly. Venga, though, hits come up and bit of revenge. The final map of the bunch. Cypher already resigned. GGs are indeed called. And that means that Wenger will lose his first matchup in stage four. Congratulations, Cypher taking home the 2-1 win. It was close. It was a close matchup. We had some crazy games like 
just map two, corrupted keep, the rocket. I still can't get it out of my head. <laughs> Such a brilliant play from Cypher right there. And that really could have gone either way. This could have very well been Vanger winning the last two maps, as we've seen him do in the past, even in this stage alone. But Cypher, you know, proved to be a bit too strong on map two. The thing is that you're getting flashbacks of all these situations with Venga, you know, like with the rockets and when uh, Cypher orbed through. You remember, it happened to Venga. He won't be able to sleep tonight. He'll be waking up in a, yeah. cold, in a cold sweat thinking about those first two maps and what could have been. But really, yeah. honestly, the series, again, doesn't paint the tale once more. Both those last frags from Cypher on the first one with Darrell and then he orbed through to try and get more damage done and get to his position and to clean him up was just beautiful stuff. The direct rocket on Corrupted Keep, that was just phenomenal. It's very hard to predict something like that, but manages to time that perfectly. But even then, this, we've spoken a lot about a lot about Cypher, but Venga had some amazing rails and he was on cleanup oh, yeah. duty throughout the whole course of this map. And you could tell that towards the end, Cypher was pretty much satisfied really with the series yeah. win and we know that Venga can be quite good on this map too so I've had a few cheeky plays like the one we saw there which was his first frag on the Blood Covenant but so far that was a fantastic sorry fantastic series to go out on absolutely we saw some beautiful rails we saw them in the highlight now as well Venger of course always on point with that weapon and his world famous rockets as well saw a fair few of those from both players Cypher the rockets from Belarus bringing them once again it was a close one plenty of beautiful flags but Cypher just held it together a little better in the first two maps Venger made some magic happen in map three but still the win will be going out to Cypher congratulations to Navi yeah, for so that man to do it, it had to be Cypher after all that. Sadly, Benga's reign of pain has stopped, but then again, he has won most of the matchups, and this is his first series loss of the stage. So he's been doing phenomenal, but at least he's got that last map win coming back anyway. But that's another match all said and done here, all done and dusted. But we've got one more match coming up, which will be Kilson versus Avic, and we'll see you soon.